we are going to be finding the coefficient of discharge using triangular notch. In this experiment, we will use the hydraulic bench to find the coefficient of discharge for a triangular notch fitted onto a rear carrier. First of all, we'll find the water head up to the apex under steady flow condition, and then we're going to be finding the water head on the flow surface under steady flow conditions. Next, we'll calculate the discharge equation both to find the coefficient of discharge for the apparatus. We'll be using hydraulic bench, triangular notch, hooking point gauge, and stopwatch. See the experiment. First of all, you assemble the triangular notch. Then you turn on the hydraulic bench. As soon as you turn on the hydraulic bench, the water surface will tend to rise. You have to keep the flow at a level that will not make the flow steady surface go over the triangular notch. There we have. Then you use the hooking point gauge to find the head. First of all, you take to make the zero of both the scales equal. Then you attach it to the tube all tube work. After which you you unplug the tube and lift it up, taking it over the steady flow condition with surface level. that case in which the flow is only to the apex or there's no flow actually. We know that the equation for discharge of a triangle or notch is given by one. And that for actual discharge is given by 2. If we combine both of them, we can get the coefficient of discharge easily. In the case, what if the case appears in which we get misleading results that could affect the final result by even averaging it? How are we going to get over that? We've got a solution for that. Both sides of the equation 1, we get equation B which is actually the equation of a line. Hence, if we plotted log of h against log of q and got a series of lines, we can find the coefficient of discharge we see. We're supposed to get a line really close to a slope of 2.5, but we don't. So in that case, we can join two points or three points to get one line equal or even very near to that slope. In this case, we've joined point 0.1 and 3, which gives us y is equal to 2.548x plus 0 0.7645. The 0 0.7645 is the y under intercept. The coefficient of discharge is 0.7783, which concludes our experiment. Engineer Muhammad Salman. of UET Fluid Mechanics Lab. Thank you for watching this week.